Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This is Chris Cass, Season 2, Episode 15. Mea Maxima Culpa, Metanoia, Metanoia. Hey Google, what does metanoia mean? Here's the definition of metanoia. Change in one's way of life resulting from penitence or spiritual conversion. Amen, amen, amen. But... Not only will this be my personal uh, conversion, my personal metanoia, but it'll also be my body metanoia. I know I've been, I know I've been promising this. I've tried Noom. I've tried everything. My body betrayed me this spring. It bothers me to no end. But this episode will be about my metanoia. This is season two, episode fifteen of Chris Cast. My name's Chris Abraham, and let's see what kind of promises I'll be willing to make. But based on that, uh, I need you to hold me accountable to them, okay? I've been planning this like crazy, but for the last three months, my body has been very disrespectful of my of my wishes. All right, talk to you in a second. Hey there, welcome back. Chris Cast, Season 2, Episode 15, Metanoia, Mea Maxima Culpa. Um, my name's Chris Abraham. This is Chris Cast, and I'm going to talk about all the things that I plan to do. Manana, 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 right? Um, this is the, these are the promises I'm making. Uh, once this darn, awful, terrible sciatica ends, but... Um, I've got all these bracelets on my arms. One has portion, which means honestly, here's my here's here's my big the first the first part is going to be f- f- uh, nutritional. I make terrible decisions, and even when it, when I make good decisions, I double or triple the intake that I should. And so, my first bracelet here that I had engraved for me in in copper, um, and you can hear it here. is portion. The number one thing is portion. Portion control. For example, I went out uh, and worked from Starbucks, which is where I'm going to go right after this to work. And when lunchtime came around, I went up to Giant and got went to their pre, uh, pre-made pre sandwich section. And instead of getting one, first of all, I should have gone and got a salad. But instead of getting just one uh, egg salad sandwich, I got two and I ate them both, right? So that is double the sandwiches humans are supposed to have, right? Uh, skinny people, they eat half a sandwich for lunch. Those crazy skinny people, they eat half a a sandwich for lunch and, and keep the other half for later. I go in and right off by two, uh, these are like, you know, regular, um, um, wheat bread regular sliced wheat bread sandwiches uh diagonal cut so not not even i'm not talking about um uh italian bread type of sandwiches but just the kind your mom would make for you right just a single uh layer of uh of of egg salad and um and you know wheat bread and that sort of thing so i ate two in a row and that was my lunch right that is overeating. That that is overeating. That is that is two portion. That is not one portion. That's certainly not half a portion. So the only time in my life that I've been able to allow to be in terms of my intake uh, an entire burrito is when I'm doing one meal a day. But I can't do one meal a day anymore because I need to eat at 6 a.m. and at 6 p.m. to go with my with my pills, right? So I haven't been doing this, but this is what I plan to do. I plan to have my have a good breakfast about you know uh, whatever 
uh, three, four, five hundred calories breakfast, a good breakfast, and then um, and then and then wait until six p.m. for for a good dinner of another uh, five, six, seven, eight, a hundred calories, and you know try to make try to make my daily input under fifteen hundred calories a day um, with supplements. So you know if I decide. Uh, and if I decide if I'm at, um, um, Idito's and I decide that I'm going to have a salad there for lunch, uh, that is going to be, you know, that is going to be, uh, a major part of that. And it's, everything still needs to be under, under 1500 calories. When I kept a 1500 calorie a day diet and didn't follow various and sundry log books, which, you know, allowed me more when I kept to a 1500 calorie a day diet, I was able to lose weight. Um, no matter what I ate, if I kept it under 1500 calories, I was good. Um, but yeah, uh, my other, my other bracelet right here, which is an aluminum one, you know, the kind of aluminum one that you have, uh, for remembering, uh, P-O-W-M-I-A. And it says, Ich mehr Ich mehr Salat. Ich mehr Salat. No, sorry. Is, is mehr Salat. He, I am more salad. No. Is mehr Salat. And that is German for eat more salad. Is mehr Salat. Is mehr Salat. Um, and so that is what I need to do. That the, the, uh, the uh, not my breakfast, but the dinners that I eat are going to need to be mostly... Um, mostly uh green green uh and if i have any lunches i can't just have um egg egg salad sandwich i need to find a better a better salad option um even if it's just uh even if it's just carrying some uh vinegar and oil in a in a in a jar in my bag and going out and getting salad um greens from the uh from giant and going ahead and just uh, putting them in there and shaking the jar and eating that. That actually sounds like a really good idea. Note to self, put vinegar oil, salt and pepper into, into a, uh, um, into a Mason jar and then go out and make sure that you have salad and greens and so forth and stuff them all into that jar and shake, 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 shake it and eat that. You bastard. But, you know, it's got to happen. Anyway, I'm going to move on to the next section. But I promise I, f- I got to do it. I have two. I'm so committed that I made. I had two custom Etsy bracelets made. One says portion. It's a little one in. I should have put half portion. Or I should have made the uh, inscription half portion. Because literally a portion is exactly half of half the amount of food that I'm I'm I feel like uh uh makes my tummy happy so um the, actually the best way to lose weight for me is is dating uh dating someone because they generally are willing to split and splitting is exactly what one needs to do when you get the portion size of food you get in America I don't know if this is helping anybody, but it's nice for me to just share this out loud because since I have aphantasia, uh, we'll talk about aphantasia later, but I'm an aphant, which means I don't have, I do not have uh, visualization. I do not have visual or auditory memory. So my memory can be very much based on um, large gestures such as this. Anyway, let's go to the next section. Mahalo. Hey there, hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. This is Chris Abraham, Season 2, Episode 15, Chris Cast. This has to do with promises, smomises, with regards to my my uh, mea maxima culpa and my metanoia. Hey Google, what does metanoia mean again? 
According to Wikipedia, the noun metanoia, metanoia, is translated repentance and its cognate verb metanio, metanoio, is translated repent in 22 instances in the King James Version of the New Testament. So, if you ask my science-based doctors what repentance is, they mean repentance, repentance of the body, right? And I am 350 pounds, and that is 150 pounds too much for who I am. I'm six foot three. I've always been like 280. That even that even that weight is fine. Like I'm happy with 280. I'm happy with 240. I'm really happy with 235. Um, but I should be 180, 190, 200. Um, and so according to them, the metanoia that I need to make is to my heart, right? Um, is to my body. Um, people say, well, they say the body is amazing at regen regeneration and healing. And I always thought that that wasn't true because look how many people die of degenerate diseases. However, now that I've been in the shoes of someone who is compliant with medicine, but not, uh, not compliant with regards to losing 150 pounds, I can tell you that your, your body needs to have a break, right? So when I had high blood pressure, Without taking blood pressure medicines, my body did not have a, a, a break uh, to to deal to deal with um, to deal with healing my liver, my kidneys, my my pancreas, my 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 stomach, my heart, my vascular system, my lungs. Um, giving up cigarettes gives your lungs an opportunity to heal themselves in a way that completely, you know, completely always exposing them to smoke uh, does not, it constantly prevents their ability to regenerate. Um, I gave up alcohol. I gave up alcohol um, uh, let's say um, 15, 16 months ago and I bet you that my uh, liver has had an opportunity to rejuvenate. Um, and now what I need to do is I need to give my joints and my muscles and my, my, my nerves, especially my, um, uh, my nerves in my lower back, my spine, um, my sciatic nerve, I need to give all it, my heart, um, my lungs, my my sinus system. I, I need to give all of those things what they need, which is healthy blood, healthy body, um, healthy flesh. But also, it's really important to to become less uh, less rotund, less uh, corpulent, and and that's essential for me to do right now at 350 pounds i am 150 pounds too heavy i am um i am uh over twice the weight of my best friend mark um and it's just not acceptable it's 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 preventable uh, my body is working towards eat, you know towards using calories my body wants to be slim i am just not giving it the ability to I'm not giving the, I'm not giving my body the ability to find its own um, um, balance, and part of that is is food, and another part of that is is exercise, um, and I have another I have my final bracelet here, which is a black uh, aluminum one like the like the Ismer Zalat, and it is black and aluminum made by. A company called I think it's called Triton Triton engraving Triton engraving and it says run swing row spin ride walk jog press snatch pull squat jump clean and lift and even before that in the middle of 2020 I got tattoos on my upper thighs saying walk run jog erg rogue swing 
uh, walk, run, jog, ergro, swing. And I bought thousands of dollars worth of equipment. And uh, right now I just can't use them because of my stupid back. But uh, And that's an excuse too, right? I could do something. I could do something. So I commit right now, I commit to the following workout. I commit, I, I have it written down on my calendar for daily use. And this is very low intensity, guys. But um, I have a bike desk. So um, what I want to do is I want to, after breakfast, I want to go use my TRX straps and do, you know, basically, um, you know, things like inverted row, chest press, Y-fly, triceps press, biceps curl, squats, low row, chest fly, standing fallout, delta fly, squat fly, squat row, shoulder raise, uh, back row, and, uh, and things like that. And, um, I want to do morning push-ups and sit-ups. I want to do those. And I think that that's very important. And then, uh, at around, um, 7.30 or so, I want to jump onto a class that I have with Daily Burn. I want to do their kettlebell class. I want to do uh, their mobility class, and I want to progress with that every day. <coughs> and then from there, I want to go onto my bike desk, and I want to just gently pedal while I'm doing work on my bike desk. I know that Hope O'Keefe does that, and she loves it. Um, and then around noon, instead of lunch, I want to do a, a, a nice easy row on my Concept 2. And you know what I did? I bought a used old Domkey camera bag for a single, like, F4 or F5. Um, I don't even know what they're called now. Hey, Google, what is the latest high-end uh, Nikon SLR? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Here are other things you can try. Anyway, so think of your fanciest Canon or um, or a Nikon, Nikon SLR, and that's the bag that it Domkey made for it. And it's the F8, and I have that along with what's called the um, Mailman Pad. And I have that so that I could schlep a kettlebell out to the to the park that I have outside my building, and I can do some of my kettlebell stuff out in the park um and then also i want to get back to to um i want to get back to spinning <clears throat> but right now i just have the air, the time during which i would do spinning i have it for walkies which is where i just get out and walk around uh basically walk myself as if i was a dog and then at seven thirty, before i go to sleep uh do another like another uh uh easy um time with the straps with the trx straps and that's it you know i i i mean it'll be very versatile i only have those things on my calendar to remind me um but but i want to stay active all day and um and so you guys have to hold me accountable to that okay um i want to do uh an hourly uh kettlebell swing that's what i really want to do is every hour upon the hour i want to do uh, you know, kettlebell swings, not to exhaustion, but to, you know, to where it just feels like I'm losing my form and do that once every hour. Uh, um, but, uh, but I have yet to do that and I need to do it and it needs to get done. So anyway, what are you guys doing? Could really use the motivation. Anyway, talk to you soon. Um, those are the things I'm going to do. Those are the things I have to do. I have to, but you know what they say, 80% of weight loss is done in the kitchen, not in the gym. So um, uh, portions, quantities, calories, um, quality of food, and all those other things are very important. Um, I'm not going to get into keto. I don't think I can do the ketosis thing. Um, but... Uh, or, or the, I, I can't really do the one meal a day because I need to eat at, uh, at six and six, but I will do the eat two times a day and my entire noon and everything will be, will be without food. So I'm going to start that tomorrow because today I already messed up because of my, of my, um, my lumbago. I, uh, I, um, I kind of messed up today already, but I will try to continue it going forward and wish me luck, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.
Hey there, this is Chris Abraham, Chris Cast, uh, episode, sorry, season two, episode 15, um, Metanoia, My Lumbago, uh, Mea Maxima Culpa. So I am, I made all those promises. I told you my plans. They're probably really flaky because, oh, I don't know. I need to become more clear on them. So today was just sort of a, 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 a casual talk through. Um, you can reach me at chris at chrisabraham.com. Uh, I'm available at Chris Abraham on Facebook, at Chris Abraham on Twitter, at Chris Abraham on uh, Instagram. I'm linkedin.com slash n slash Chris Abraham on LinkedIn. Uh, on Google, I guess I'm uh, what? Uh, I used to be uh, Chris Abraham on Google, but Google Plus is dead, so... There's none of that. Um, and what else? I'm plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one, which means you can text me. Uh, if you call me, it's going to go to voicemail unless we have a scheduled call, where you can, which you can get at plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one. Sorry, you can do that at calendly.com slash Chris Abraham slash uh, fifteen or thirty, depending on how many minutes you want to talk. And um, plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one gets me on uh, on WhatsApp. It gets me on um, on Signal and uh, just regular text. And I guess that's it. I really enjoy you spending time with me, and I will talk to you soon. And I hope you're well. Take care. Bye bye. 